Okay, here's the uh, velocity dependent force problem using the technique that people learn in calculus. So those of you not in calculus probably don't want to watch this. So we've dropped an object and it's falling through the air, the downward force of gravity, and then we have the upward force of drag, and we'll assume uh, the force of drag is kV. And this is good advice for all these problems. Always make the direction it's going um, positive. So even though we're dropping it and the initial velocity is zero, uh, it's falling down, so we make down positive. And so these steps are the same as the uh, steps we saw using it. My uh, other using my other method, the guessing method. Uh, and so everything's the same. We just do Newton's second law mg minus the force of drag equals ma, and then we can substitute in kv for the force of drag, and to make it a differential equation that we can solve, we replace a with its equivalent dv dt. And so in class today, I said to guess that v was a e to the bt plus c, and then also take its derivative, which would be b, a e to the bt and put this into here and put that and substitute it in for dv dt and then do the algebra to figure out the constants. And so instead of that method, we're going to use what's called separation of variables. And so first we separate the dt and the dv and it helps to um, get this in a form that we can integrate. And so those of you in calculus know that I can integrate it if it's in uh, this form here. The general idea is the integral of du over u is the natural log of u. And so u would be mg minus kv. And so that would mean du is um, negative k dv. And so since there's no negative k here, there is a dv, I've got to put the negative k out in front. And so, negative, well, I've got to put a negative 1 over k to cancel out the k here. So again, those of you in calculus should know how to do this uh, and apply this rule. And so we integrate both sides and we get this. So integrating dt just gives me t and then the m was already there, and then don't forget plus c, and then I have negative 1 over k out in front, and then the answer is the natural log of u, which is natural log of mg minus kv, and also a constant. Now, we don't really care what the constant is. It'd be good to kind of get those guys together. And so there's a c here, and there's a c here. Well, I can just, whatever the heck this c is, I can put it over here. And so notice we still have the same thing. I just and combine the constants. And so now what we need to do is take both sides to E um, so we get rid of the natural log. And so E to the negative K over MT plus C uh, equals E to the natural log of MG minus KV. And so I get that. So um, I have e to the c here, well, that's just some other constant, right? So I can just call that constant c again, and then I have e to the negative km over t is mg minus kv, and so we need to figure out what c is, and I know it was dropped, so the velocity is zero at time zero, and so if I put in time zero here, uh, and velocity zero, I get C is mg. So uh, e to the 0 is 1, so I just get C equals mg, because that goes away too. And so now I know that, and so I put mg over here, and so we're back. So what I'm doing is putting this into here. And so I have mg, and then I divide it through by k everywhere. So I got rid of the k that was here. Let's clean that up. So I just divided everything by k over k over k. 
over k, and then I put in mg here for c. That's all I did here. And so I pretty much got the answer, and so I can solve for v, and I notice that this mg over k shows up in both terms, so I can factor that out, and this is the answer I showed in class today. It makes sense. If we put in t equals 0, then I get this term becomes 1. That's a big 0 there. And so 1 minus 1 is 0. The velocity starts out at 0. If I put in a large value for t, this term goes to 0, gets real tiny. And so my answer is mg over k. We know that's the terminal velocity. And if you were to graph it, it looks something like this, where the terminal velocity is mg over k. So not for the faint of heart. Again, not easy to go through and do this and do all the steps. Typically, this might be a four-point part, four point part to a problem. And once you get to here, you've probably got three of the four points. Maybe it'd be worth five points. And uh, you get two for all of this. And so I recommend you give it a try uh, with my guess method and see if you like that better.